It's been a while. I know that. I'm very aware of that. But we've had some issues on this side. We're back, hopefully. And I actually wanted to make a very special video today based off the recent MotoGP Catalunya Grand Prix, where my Mark Marquez merch because it was recently that Mark Marquez announced that he would be leaving the 2022 season just to recover from his arm injury and maybe be back by about the halfway point of the season at minimum um, and possibly next season. So we're all wishing the best for him. But it's actually the current, uh, the most recent Grand Prix that happened at Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona that is, uh, is taking my interest because Alex Spargro decided, well, he decided that he, that 23 laps was enough. And he ended up celebrating one lap early. This is the clip. Turn from the Yamaha man. Alexis oh, Spargo, Alexis, Alexis Spargo has got a problem. Can you believe this on the last lap? Alexis Spargo is withdrawing from this Barcelona Grand Prix. On the last lap, he got his hand up. We just saw there, Jorge Martin came through on him down the main straight. I he got his thumb up. Does he think the race is finished? I think he yeah, thinks he's realised. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? What a howler by Alexis Spargo. So yeah, pretty crazy. And of course, on the first lap, on the first corner, there was a huge crash as well between three riders, Takanakagami, Pekka Bagnaia, and Alex Rins, uh, that ended up ending all of their races. Pekka wasn't happy about it. Here is the crash. Here in Catalonia, it's go. It's a great launch from pole position by a brilliant Alexis Bargo. He made the dream start as he clicks through to top gear on the run down to the first corner. Fabio Quattro likewise, has gone all the way through on Pekka Bagnaia and Quattararo goes through. Oh, well, Quattararo has been whacked. No. Alex Rins from Pekka Bagnaia, sorry, he's been taken out. We were on board with the Italian. We could see the contact. But of course, to no one's surprise, it was Fabio Quartararo that came out on top this weekend. Second was Jorge Martin, and third was Johan Zarco. And then it was like Schwein, Mir, and fourth. Uh, and then Alex ended up coming fifth. But it was still quite a uh, an interesting way to end the race. And I don't think anyone was expecting it, because people would have been... Like, seeing that, they would have thought... Oh, he's got a mechanical issue, which is what everyone thought to start with. Even Martin thought that. Um, but yeah, so it was quite a shocker. Alex lost the podium at his home Grand Prix. I don't know why I'm giving a thumbs up. It's not good for him at all, but Zarko would have been pretty happy about that. So there we go. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully more uploads coming soon.